Drake, you did the same thing twice now. You mentioned um, Virginia Williams or whatever with Pusha T's wife. And you saw that with the gloves off and we saw what happened. You mentioned Whitney and Kendrick Lamar's wife name is Whitney. You have to be prepared for anything. Drake must have the worst PR team ever. He keeps sabotaging himself. And it seems like he won't stop until Kendrick ruins his career completely. Despite all his petty actions, lies, cheesy lyrics, and the PVF file allegations, Drake thought it was a good idea to diss Kendrick's fiance, Whitney, again. Yes, you heard that right. Drake is taking shots at Whitney in the pettiest, most cowardly way possible. So Drake decided to. Drake must have the worst PR team ever. He keeps sabotaging himself, and it seems like he won't stop until Kendrick ruins his career completely. Despite all his petty actions, lies, cheesy lyrics, and the PVF file allegations, Drake thought it was a good idea to diss Kendrick's fiance, Whitney, again. Yes, you heard that right. Drake is taking shots at Whitney in the pettiest, most cowardly way possible. Drake mocked Whitney's looks by hiring a look-alike model for his new OVO clothing brand campaign, referencing Whitney's cameo in the music video for Kendrick's viral diss track, Not Like Us. In the video, Whitney, along with their two children, showcased her sleek dance moves and effortlessly shut down Drake's failed attempt to destroy her family. However, Drake is playing with fire again because sources close to Kendrick are saying he's ready to go nuclear on him. After all, Kendrick did say in Not Like Us that the rabbit hole is deep and he can go further if Drake pushes him again. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Whitney is not the first woman Drake has tried to use to get back at a man he had beef with. Drake has a long history of shading wives, girlfriends, and even daughters of the men he has issues with. He did it. Drake must have the worst PR team ever. He keeps sabotaging himself, and it seems like he won't stop until Kendrick ruins his career completely. Despite all his petty actions, lies, cheesy lyrics, and the PDF file allegations, Drake thought it was a good idea to diss Kendrick's fiance, Whitney, again. Yes, you heard that right. Drake is taking shots at Whitney in the pettiest, most cowardly way possible. Drake mocked Whitney's looks by hiring a look-alike model for his new OVO clothing brand campaign, referencing Whitney's cameo in the music video for Kendrick's viral diss track, Not Like Us. In the video, Whitney, along with their two children, showcased her sleek dance moves and effortlessly shut down Drake's failed attempt to destroy her family. However, Drake is playing with fire again because sources close to Kendrick are saying he's ready to go nuclear on him. After all, Kendrick did say in Not Like Us that the rabbit hole is deep, and he can go further if Drake pushes him again. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Whitney is not the first woman Drake has tried to use to get back at a man he had beef with. Drake has a long history of shading wives, girlfriends, and even daughters of the men he has issues with. He did it with Pusha T's fiance, Virginia, DJ Mustard's ex. Rick Ross's ex, and was even recently caught creeping on rapper Mosta's daughter, who just turned 18. It's extremely odd that every time Drake gets into a beef with someone, he instantly starts disrespecting their relationship partner. And then there's the fact that Drake is pushing 40 and still hasn't had one serious relationship. No woman has ever publicly claimed Drake as her boyfriend, and even those who dealt with him quickly ran away as far as they could and never looked back. None of the girls in Drake's dating history stayed long-term. It seems like they like the idea of dating Drake, but once they get to know him, they don't last long. You have to wonder why. At this point, there's no denying that Drake has a super weird relationship with women, and this doesn't get brought up enough. 
So what's up with Drake shading Kendrick's fiance, Whitney, again? Is Kendrick really cooking up another diss track to put him in his place? Let's break it down. So if you've somehow missed it, Drake has been taking jabs at Kendrick and his family for what feels like forever. You think after Kendrick absolutely humiliated him in front of everyone and exposed all his lies, Drake would have the decency to step back and maybe do some soul searching, right? Well, think again. Drake, being Drake, just can't let it go. He's back at it again, throwing shade and being his petty self. But this time, instead of going head to head with Kendrick, Drake has taken a sneaky turn and is once again targeting Kendrick's fiance, Whitney. And his latest stunt isn't even clever. It's just downright weird. Since this is not the first time Drake has gone after the fiance or girlfriend of one of his rivals, fans are saying Drake must be secretly jealous of Kendrick's life. Kendrick and Whitney are high school sweethearts with a mature, drama-free relationship, something Drake just can't seem to grasp. It's starting to seem like he's envious of that. Think about it, Drake did the same with Rihanna and Serena Williams. He obsessed over them for years, publicly proclaiming his love. But once they moved on and started a family with someone else, he started dissing them and their husbands. Honestly, Drake is like that self-proclaimed nice guy who calls the girl ugly after she rejects him. So what's Drake's game plan here? Why is he dragging Kendrick's fiance into this mess again? Is he just being his usual petty self? Or is he sending a message that he has another diss track up his sleeve? It seems like Drake just can't let go of his feud with Kendrick and has taken things to a whole new level of pettiness. Get this, he's gone ahead and hired a model for his OVO clothing brand, who looks very similar to Kendrick's fiance. Fans are saying there's no way this was a coincidence. The model in question is a woman named Brayden Ferguson, and once photos of her rocking OVO's newest collection were posted on Instagram, fans immediately noticed the resemblance. Immediately, fans started buzzing about how she's practically a clone of Whitney. We're talking the same hairstyle, same vibe, and she's even wearing a white tank top, just like the one Whitney sported in the Not Like Us video. I mean, what are the odds that Drake would just happen to pick a model who looks almost exactly like Kendrick's fiance? Fans are totally calling him out on it, saying he's being a weirdo for once again going after women instead of directly responding to Kendrick. One fan commented, this just proves weirdo behavior and a lot of women, especially black women, see exactly who and what you are. It only proves your disconnection from real, mature adult women. It's not a move of a man or team of men, but little boys. Who is your marketing manager and PR person? Clearly, there are issues in your camp. Sickening. Another person wrote, addressing men by going after their women is a habit with Drake. It confirms he is a lame. But you know what's also weird? Drake first tried to push this narrative in his diss tracks that Whitney is a victim and that Kendrick mistreats her, but now he's mocking her. If he really believes she's a victim of DV, why go after her? Drake first referenced Whitney in his diss track push-ups with the line, I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. It's a double meaning lyric with Drake comparing himself to Whitney Houston who famously starred in the 1992 romance movie, The Bodyguard. However, the bar is also a dig at Kendrick's fiance, Whitney, who appeared on the cover of Kendrick's 2022 album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, being guarded by Kendrick and his hidden gun. However, Drake didn't stop there. In his May diss track, Family Matters, he takes it a step further alleging that Whitney is a victim of DV and that one of her kids was fathered by Kendrick's longtime friend, Dave Free. Drake again uses a Whitney Houston reference, creating confusion about his true intentions and making it clear that his fixation on Kendrick's fancy is not only petty but deeply problematic.
metaphorically referencing Bobby Brown's DV of Whitney Houston, Drake raps, on some Bobby is, I want to know what Whitney need, insinuating that Kendrick mistreats his fiancé Whitney. He then goes on to say that Kendrick and Whitney's puppy love ended in their late teens, questioning why Kendrick never holds his son in pictures. Drake makes bold allegations, claiming Whitney is a victim, and that one of Kendrick's kids might be fathered by Day Free. You a dog and you know it, you just play sweet. Your baby mama captions always scream and save me. You did her dirty all your life, you trying to make peace. I heard that one of them little kids might be Day Free. Later in the track, Drake doubles down on the DV allegations against Kendrick, rapping, when you put your hands on your girl, is it self-defense? Cause she bigger than you. They hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen. It's still not clear what possessed Drake to use this angle and spread rumors about Kendrick putting his hands on Whitney, especially considering there is zero evidence of this ever happening outside of online gossip. Also, after Kendrick dropped Not Like Us, Whitney's brother, Taylor Alford, publicly showed support to Kendrick on X, formerly Twitter, saying, FM bro. If Drake's allegations were true, it wouldn't make sense for Taylor to vocally support a guy who supposedly mistreats his sister and is the father of her kids. What's also interesting is that Kendrick actually addressed this in the track Euphoria before Family Matters even dropped. He correctly predicted that Drake would fabricate lies about his family because he misunderstood Kendrick's album, Mr. Morale. But probably the best rebuttal of all was Whitney's appearance in the music video for Not Like Us, where she happily dances with Kendrick and the kids, effectively shutting down Drake's whole narrative about Whitney supposedly being a victim who always looks like she's in distress, screaming for help. But just for the sake of argument, let's say Drake was right and Whitney really was a victim of DV. If that were true, then Drake just proved he couldn't care less about victims. Why would he mock Whitney by hiring a model who looks like her for his new OVO collection just to mock her? If Whitney is a DV victim, why doesn't Drake leave her alone and target Kendrick directly? This is why most people can't take Drake seriously anymore. Not to mention, this isn't the first time Drake went after a girlfriend or wife of a rapper he was beefing with. It's like every rap diss Drake ever did had to mention his opponent's girl. He went after Serena Williams after beefing with her ex, Common. He later went after Serena directly and called her husband a groupie. He used Nicki Minaj as a punchline when he was dissing Meek Mill. He name-dropped Pusha T's fiancé, Virginia. He's been shading Rihanna and ASF Iraqi ever since Rihanna friends on him. He alluded to the Weeks ex, Bella Hadid, on Family Matters, calling her a star. The list just goes on and on. But can we talk about how Drake has an obsession with throwing dirt on other men's girlfriends and wives when he, at almost 40 years old, has had zero normal public relationships. He has all this fame, hit songs, and money that he brags about, but he's never had a girlfriend publicly claim him. So why is that? Why has no woman he supposedly likes or loves claimed him as their boyfriend or partner? Drake's bizarre love life is a topic of its own. He's been linked to many famous women over the years, from Rihanna to G-Lo, S.E.A., Kat Dennings, Haley Bieber, and Tyra Banks. But Drake is yet to have a long-term public relationship. The closest he came to having one was with Rihanna. At least that's what he claimed. Rihanna, however, never claimed Drake. And after she was done with him, she didn't even want to be friends anymore. Now Drake choosing to live the bachelor lifestyle may be odd to some, but that's his business at the end. One fan said it's because he doesn't feel respected and has never felt accepted either outside. Looking in, he has deep insecurities that money and status can't change because his peers still view him as corny lame 
Essentially, he's the high school kid who didn't have many friends and never got girls but glowed up after. Graduating and still holds resentment towards everyone else, regardless of where he is in life, he uses women as chess pieces. And these are also women that wouldn't give him time of day if he wasn't who he is today. And another person added women don't like him, and it pisses him off. But instead of trying to figure out why women don't like him and doing something about it, he acts like they're the problem Drake would be an insult if he wasn't rich and famous. But how do you feel about Drake mocking Kendrick's fiance Whitney again? And why do you think Drake acts the way he does towards women? I want to hear your theories, so drop your comments below. And don't miss out on this next video.